Greetings. Well, here I am, Fort Worth, Texas. Visited family. It was kind of stressful last yesterday because, uh, as you know, if you listen to my channel, I don't mince words, and I talk about the truth. And people don't want to hear the truth. My blood relatives don't want to hear the truth. And it bothered me a lot for many years, but it doesn't bother me anymore. I'm reminded of a story from the Old Testament where Abraham, I, I believe it would have been in Genesis or Exodus. It's that pretty close in there. And I don't know where the story originated because the Bible, all, every story in the Bible was written somewhere else long before it got in the Bible, if you must know. I mean, I don't know if every story, but almost all of them. But anyway, God was about to destroy a city, Sodom and Gomorrah, because of their wickedness. And Abraham said, well, don't do it. I'll go in there and I'll see if there's one righteous man, if there's 50 right. And they started with a number and he got all the way down to one. And he couldn't find one righteous person there. And I feel that way amongst my own generation of people that I didn't find one righteous one. I didn't find one awake, enlightened person. I didn't find one who had any clue about what was going on in the world or had any concern about what was going on in the world. They were only concerned about paying their gas bill, getting their vacation, taking care of themselves. And they didn't care about their planet or who people were or awareness or anything. You know, if it didn't say it at church, so they totally shut off their brain. And I'm just going to tell you this, it's not the Rothschilds or the Committee on Foreign Relations or the, or the Al-Qaeda, whoever you think it is, it's us. We're the problem. We're it. We have no concern. We have no consciousness. It's us. We're the problem. Have a good day.